get it. Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm Deflo and today I'm going to show you how I made my track Only You. I actually just recorded this video and it wasn't, the sound wasn't on and it was super laggy and loads of problems and it was a 20 minute one so I'm kind of tired and I'm going to try and make it a bit shorter this one so for those of you who haven't heard the track before it's this one. And the second drop is like this. Okay, so that's the track. I'm gonna run you through what I did and how I made it. So first of all, uh, sidechain. I'm using Volume Shaper 4, and that's where it ducks in volume, this is where it comes up, obviously. It's being triggered by a MIDI track, so every time a MIDI note hits, the sidechain is triggered, and I have all of the tracks in the project routed to the sidechain. So I can just make a new track and instantly route it to that sidechain, and it'll be triggered whenever a MIDI track appears then i have the sub here which is just a your standard sub in serum so it's like the same sub throughout the whole track use it for the intro use it for the drop for everything i just take out the low end of everything else um so yeah start off with this bit the serum here is Kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like a pad kind of thing. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> it's really simple. It's from a pack, 80s retro wave serum. It's a really cool pack. But it's just doing that. And then I have a Rhodes sample, sample of a Rhodes here, which I've added glue compressor, I've EQ'd it and everything, and it sounds like this. <laughs> because I had to add the OTT as well. If not, it sounds like this. I'm gonna play it without the EQ and without the OTT. It's got way too much low end, and I wish I didn't want to. Yeah, so that's basically the intro of the track, and it has um, obviously the vocal, which is from an Ashanti track called Only You. It's a really old track. I really like it, it's an amazing track. And I just chopped up the vocal for it to be like this. So you got like ping pong delay and the reverb and EQ, OTT as well, got OTT on everything. Yeah, so and then got that. Got the drums, which is, um, I'll show you, it's just. That's not the, like, this is a tail, so, like, the snare's, like, really short. It's really short and tight, and then I added the tail, which is coming up in volume. It's, like, comes up right after the snare to give it a tail. Yeah. Got, like, white noise underneath as well. And I've got these bongos from uh, the cash cashmere pack those cashmere packs are amazing they have loads of useful stuff you should definitely download them so for the break
breakdown of the track, which is this. And obviously, you see that uh, we've got like chimes, we've got uh, effects going down, impacts, just all sorts of things to fill out the track. And if you don't know what a chime is, it's this little thing here. It's like a wind chime. This is the vocal. I put um this process there with a bit of like EQing, put a bit of redux to make it stand out a bit and um reverb uh OTT as well. So yeah. This in the background, this is the um the main up that I made for the track. So that's the main up and then it's accompanied by this kind of Reese. It's not really a Reese, it's like a, just a saw, detuned saw wave. <laughs> It had a lot of low end, so I had to take it off. Uh, I cut off the low end, obviously, right about there. Got a police siren on the build up in the key of the song and then we've got this is like an amen break so it's a breakbeat loop which is this and then i think there's another one i love breakbeat i love break broken beats so um yeah that's on the build up Now for the drop, obviously I've shown you the drums and everything, like on the background there's some hats and stuff going on. The main, the main, the drop is mainly this sound, which is, it's this one, it's that sound, and then it's this one, it's uh, the one that's doing mostly the one I use a lot, kind of in my sound, in my track. <laughs> And then there's the one that's really choppy, which is like on a 116 rate, which is this one. It's, it's pretty much the same sound, just doing a different thing, different rate. And then there's this one. I'm going to show you how what the presets look like, so that you can make them if you want, so obviously. So yeah, there's this one. So all of these sounds are routed to a uh, group. The group is routed to the sidechain, but the group has a Valhalla reverb on it, and then a, an EQ cutting off all the lows, because I have a separate sub at the top, which is this one, doing everything, all the subs. So there's like a lot of reverb happening in certain areas. If you can see these, this is the mix of the reverb, so it's like coming up and down. <laughs> So that gives it like really really cool kind of really it makes it sound really full the track. this is just a resample here that i made go down in picture that it's not really a big deal got obviously the white noise in the background i've got um effects everywhere like i told you like the just all of these um white noise going up and down then there's like a crowd noise there's a hat loop there's crashes there's sirens and that's pretty much it for the the background then here there's a break. 
from a, like a YouTube video that I saw and I really liked the sound and the guy just gave away this this uh, preset kind of wave table that was pretty sick yeah it was pretty good so I just fended it a little bit or whatever not, not even that I just kept it I think it was the wave table that he gave away was really sick but um, yeah the main sounds of this project like this one so this sound, which is pretty much the main sound of the track, is made up of a uh, Virus TI2 wave table, which is the bump sweep. And then it's FMing into just a basic shape, and it's got the high notch going on, it's got a few things in the background as well. It's got an EQ in the back, which is doing, make, giving it extra accent as opposed to the front one. So it's got like two kind of EQs, filters, doing different things, making it sound really vocally. <laughs> And then the only thing that makes it sound cooler is the fact that it's pitch bending. So I have, obviously you need to pitch bend nowadays on your tracks, so it's just very like straight line, very, um, there's up 12 and minus 12. And this is the, the pitch bend really. So it's going up, it's going up there, then it's going down. So you can see and that is literally everywhere. If I um, consolidate this and turn it into one thing, you can see that it's just everywhere. And it's just like... It's what gives the track its characteristic or whatever. I, I think it's the only thing that makes the track cool. If it weren't for that, it'd just be like... Wah, 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 wah. That's a really straight line. So, yeah. For the second drop, obviously, I, I don't know if you've heard the track, but it goes down in tempo to like 1-3, 1-3-2, one, 1-3-3 three, one, three, three maybe. And it goes into breakbeat, which is something that I really like. I really enjoy breakbeat, so I'll play you a bit of it, and then I'll show you more or less. It's, it's pretty much the same thing, just with a 4x4. Four four. Not even a 4x4, four four, it's like a breakbeat. <laughs> much the same just goes down to one i try to do one three three but ableton doesn't let me sometimes with a weird here i don't know why ableton needs to fix this maybe there is a fix i don't know i don't really i don't really care as long as i like how it sounds so um yeah the bass obviously the beat changes it's the beat goes into this so there's no like i i took off the um the tail of the snare to make it like, really dry and um, the effects are all the same it just has the same hat loop all I added was this to give it the breakbeat effect so I'll play this with the beat it's kind of like a really dirty sample but I like the way it sounds I wanted it to sound like that and then the bass sounds are just you can see them for yourself here it's all the same kind of sounds i just used more of this one in the break beat which is this patch right here yeah i mean i like making sounds i like trying to sound kind of different but not too different because I like the way that stuff sounds so I want to sound like that but um yeah as for the second bit the second half of the second drop is like wait by the way these um ex exclusion drum fills big up exclusion he makes amazing drum fills um as you can see there's two there no it's not it's one pan to the right one pan to the left and then I've slightly shifted them in time so that they don't phase to give it like extra wideness i do that with a lot of stuff that it's like a lot of percussive stuff or just stuff that i want to really sound wide 
Uh, it's it's really cool trick. You just slightly delay in time and you just one to the left, one to the right. So yeah, then there's this new sound appearing on the second part, which is, I don't know, machine gun. It's just a, a really raspy wavetable, just at a 116 rate, just chopping. Da -da -da -da. That's all it really is. Yeah, it's not really too complicated. And then, um, what else is there? There's, um, yeah, there's a new vocal bit, a little vocal sample that I put into... I know, I like, when you got a track, you put like little vocal samples in to fill in gaps, and it just makes it so much cooler, in, in my opinion. I love it when there's vocal samples everywhere to fill in gaps, instead of using sounds, or if it becomes too cluttered. Drop them. Cut. You can hear it, there's nothing special, but to me it sounds cool. I just And then to finish up the track, just like um... Hey! 